Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, I'm going over chapter two of Act Six. In the last video, we did chapter one of how to one-shot all the bosses. So this boss is a big ass symbiote supreme, and his global is the. I've got it all, but the note he has is like when you knock him down, that's the window of time. You see, like the blue thing, how it turns gray. In the um in the gray area, that's when you can basically kill him. And every time you knock him down, the thing lasts a little bit longer to give yourself a bigger window. Um, I've heard what the note is called, but it's not that important. Um, this boss is fairly easy, especially for someone who can like counter healing like um, Archangel or Cap Infinity War with like the text energy. I don't even have the text energy in this one. Basically, if you try to kill them while the shield is up, they'll just regenerate 10% of their health and they'll go from 0 to 10% again. So you gotta kill them while the window's down. Um, it's really not that hard. Uh, I think I do it right here. Yeah, easy fight. That's just the first boss. Super easy, not much to explain. Second boss, this is definitely a roadblock. I don't know why they haven't stopped this fight, but it basically has EMP mod and caustic temper. EMP mod is every time you gain a buff, will gain like an electric charge. And when he throws a special attack, it'll put all the um, electric charges on you and you basically die. So you need someone that's shock immune or quake um and for caustic temper you do 90 percent less damage unless you have a fury on you and you also need to be poison immune because when you hit them he puts poisons on you so you basically need a shock poison immune and someone who generates furies um if you don't have a quake or ghost i would say or cap america infinity war and blade i think they can all do this fight um the way to do it really is I mean, you could just go the old-fashioned way and use rank 5 Hyperion and rank 5, like, Medusa and do as much damage as you can. You can get, like, a good, like, 40-50% chunk with Hyperion if you get super lucky. So, I mean, you can do that. But there's a few ways to one-shot it. I think when I first one-shot it, I used Blade and Heimdall synergy to get myself a Fury. You get Heimdall and Angela and Blade. And I think what the strat was, if I remember, this was, like, two years ago or whenever this came out. I think just spammed heavies with blade. Yeah, I think what or not heavies, um, spam parries and just kill them through bleeds. And then I think, if I remember correctly, you could attack him with three bars of power because the poisons were so short. I really can't remember too much um, how I dealt with the shocks. I think with blade you just parried a shit ton. Captain America and Fandy War can also do this fight, but you need um, the, the furious energy again with Heimdall. And you need a skill champion on your team to get rid of the poisons. And you need to never dex, basically, parry only. You can one-shot him like this. You can also one-shot him with qu uh, Ghost. Um, but you also, I don't think you need the synergy, actually, for Ghost. You just need to play super well and phase a lot of the damage with Hood synergy. Or you can do what I'm doing, which I think is probably the easiest, or one of the easiest, is just Quake. If you're good at Quake, you, just, you don't need a Shock Immune, you don't need a Poison Immune. You can just use the synergy to give her a Fury, and you're pretty much good. So yeah, this is the Mr. Sinister boss. You have to do this boss like 10 times or something. It's ridiculous. I'm surprised they haven't nerfed it yet. But yeah, um, now we go into the third boss. This is super easy. It's just a big Icarus, Limber, Omega Red, and Icarus basically makes any champion, just Messiah. So I'm really not even going to explain this fight that much. I will say, though, that 6.2 out of all the chapters in Act 6 probably has the most bullshit, most fun and interactive bosses with um, the Mordo... The Mr. Sinister and the Champion boss. They did nerf the Champion boss, so it's not as bad. But definitely when it came out, um, and still probably out of all the chapters, probably still has the hardest bosses. Either this or 6.4, but I don't really know. And yeah, that fight was just easy. Like That fight just not even like a fight. Next we got the 6.2.4 uh, boss, Kingpin. This boss is stun immune. Is it debuff immune? I don't know. I think it's just stun immune. Um, and also has destructive feedback, which is when the yellow shield is up, you don't do any damage, but all the damage you do is stored in the shield. And when the shield goes away, every like 15, 20 seconds, however long it is, um, it'll just do all the damage to them. But if you get hit while he has the shield up, you take all the damage you did. So say you're using Ghost and you hit him a few times. And like right now, I'm using my special two into a shield. If you were to hit into my block right now, I would take all of that damage back and basically one-shot myself. So when he has the yellow shield up, you really don't want to hit him. 
So you could either be an intercept. You could really use any character. You could even use Groot for this fight. It would just take a long ass time. This fight is not restrictive at all. It's just you have to play well and not get hit while the yellow shield is up. Obviously, um, Ghost, Quake, some of the best options just because you really never have to hit the opponent to, I mean, block a hit to get your openings in. Ghost makes her own openings and Quake just heavies, but really any champion's good here. Um, maybe not characters who rely on debuffs because he's Kingpin and you can shrug him off. Right there, I threw a heavy. I'm very lucky he didn't punish me there, but I'm glad, very glad. Um, yeah, you can really use any character. I mean, even Archangel would work here. Um, a lot of his shit would get shrugged off, but if you just don't get hit while the shield is up and you just intercept only, basically, I mean, you can do it. I mean, I'm not saying that's the best option. Far from it. But yeah, just use someone who doesn't rely on anything, really, and just intercept only. Um, also, it has, like, last 25% um, fully unblockable, so you gotta watch out for that. So this is a Spite Mordo with a shit ton of nodes, and the one I... You can leave up two links, either Hurt Locker or Special Delivery. Um, Hurt Lockers, you can't use the same special twice, and Special Deliveries, you have to throw special ones out of every... one out of every um, 15 hits, which I really don't like. And it also has the global node, Do Not Go Gentle, which is every five hits it puts a charge on you. And to get rid of the charges, you have to either intercept or heavy attack. Ghost can do her own version of intercept, which is a ghost intercept. I mean, I guess. Uh, fully unblockable specials. This fight, this chapter, this this is probably one of the worst. I think out of all the quest in Act 6, this is probably the worst one. Um, yeah, I'd have to say so. The paths to get to this boss are fucking brutal with the gates. This is definitely the worst quest. So don't feel bad if you can't fully explore this one. This one is next level sped. But um, yeah, this boss is actually extremely hard. If you don't ghost. I mean, if you watched Blind Grant's itemless, you'll see how much you struggled on this dude with the gated pass. But I mean, with ghost, it's just really easily. You can, with ghost, leave up special delivery and hurt locker. The fight's a little bit harder, and you have to just eat more phase hits to get more power. But it is possible, so just know that you can leave up all the links. But just for completion, I would get rid of her locker. I mean, not, I'd get rid of special delivery, because I think that's harder, having to use a special every 15 hits. If the character doesn't have some sort of power gain, you won't be able to um, throw two different specials. Like, um... You can't throw a special one, then special two, because you don't have power, but yeah. That's the mortal boss. I would say, I mean, just goes. It's just the best. Finally, we have the champion, and I'm using Symbio Supreme. Arguably the best counter. I would probably say the best counter. I don't think any other character is really better than him. He just does this fight so much better than anyone else. Basically, what you want to do is take off suicides. I mean, you can leave off suicides, actually, but for this fight, I just want to be extra safe. Basically, the way he works is he's a 500k champion, and, you know, um, his block image was fucking insane. They nerfed it. This is the nerf champion fight. It used to be a lot harder, and I forgot what percentage. I think it's 80% to, like, 40%? 70 to 40, one of those two. He has unblockable light attacks in his first phase, and then the second phase... He has unblockable mediums from like 40 to 10%. And also, he um, can't gain debuffs. Every time you try to put a debuff on him, or nullify. Every time you try to put a debuff on him, he'll just shake it off. And every time you try to nullify one of his buffs, he'll take some damage back. Damage back got nerfed substantially, so thank God. And then in his final 10% phase, um, I mean, if you're exploring Act 6, you already know what it is. You gotta dex a few of his specials to do damage. Um, the, the name of this fight is just keep his buffs down with Symbio Supreme. Because with other characters, um, you let his buffs get out of control and the block damage is f crazy. I don't know if it's that crazy anymore because they didn't nerf this fight like like a lot. Especially in his time, final 10%. In his final 10%, I remember using like Cap Infinity War. I'd do like a perfect pair, you know, take like 5,000 damage to my block. It was literally retarded. But Simu Supreme is definitely the best character. For this fight, you just want to use special twos in this phase. Because you can't put on your bleed, so your damage is kind of shit. 
and um, most characters can't do this fight because of his regeneration phase. Um, his regeneration eventually becomes too strong for most characters if you're not nullifying the things. So this fight is definitely restrictive. Um, if you have a Symbiote Supreme, he's the best option. A shit ton of characters do work for this fight. A lot of mystic characters. You just gotta search up on YouTube and just see if your characters have what it takes. Um, and if it, they do, you, there'll probably be a video of a one-shot of that somewhere. So, right here, we got this man to 10%. Only lost, like, what, 5% of my health or something like that. Dodge the first special one. Get my prowess. He has two more specials we gotta dodge. Um, get the second prowess. This fight, when I first started playing, um, doing this fight, it was extremely hard, but now it's just cheese, third powers, and now we just wait, get a special three, and the fight is over. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, the champion fight got nerfed, it's a hundred times easier, so yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace.